Hey guys, welcome to another year, um, another year, <laughs> another week with my year 2017. So I'm going to come out this week, my week, um, with a short series of three videos spaced out over the week, um, demonstrating to you guys how I put this quick little easy cute journal together with things I had, I didn't go out and buy anything. I already had everything that I used in my stash. All right, so, and I'll also talk you through some substitutions um, that you could make depending on what you have in your stash. So this first video is just to talk about the materials that I used for the cover. Um, that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm not gonna show you the inside yet. So the basic chipboard cover uh, was a I think a Tim Holtz cover because it has these had these two eyelets in it already and I think it's intended for his little set of two binder rings that he has. I think that's what this is from. I'm pretty sure I got it on clearance somewhere probably. I don't know if they make them anymore. You could definitely do something like this out of an old cereal box chipboard that you already have in your stash. And I'm going to measure it for you real quick here. It measures about from one end to the other end. It's just a, just a sixteenth of an inch shy of 11 inches. <clears throat> and it is about seven inches tall. The spine is about one and a half inches. So that gives you some dimensions there to work with. Um, it already had the fabric cover, like I said, but you definitely could just use chipboard or a cereal box and create your own cover. Um, you can you put eyelets in the spine or not. Um, at the in the last video, you will you'll see why I have this here, and I'm liking the eyelets. Uh, you also have been probably probably noticing throughout the year in our My Year videos um, and other social media posts that I post throughout the year that I've been creating a lot of, of my own DIY embellishments, whether it is painted feathers. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So whether it is painted feathers, embroidery floss wrapped sticks, literally these are sticks, sticks off of bushes from my yard. Um, in the background here, you can pe uh, see a piece of the plastic stained glass. We've done that with my year before. Um, and there's other found objects from around my studio. A piece of driftwood sent to me by my friend Cindy Utter, wrapped with some metallic wire. I occasionally buy odd lots of stuff off of eBay, and I have the, a bunch of watch parts from one of those odd lots. So I pulled a few things and some springs out of that box. I had some um, stencils from um, Mike Deacon, helps me get my stencils cut, and I had some prototypes that didn't quite make it, let's say, and um, he sent me the pieces anyway, and at first I was like, uh, what am I gonna do with that? And then I was like, oh wait! So you can see little pieces of them poking out here in the background. This is a Tim Holtz a word card from one of his mini little mini decks of cards and this is the one that he has is just words. Um, this brass clip, um, you can find these in a lot of places. These were originally, as far as I know, made for Midori Traveler's Notebooks. I got these off of Wish for a couple bucks. They weren't expensive. Um, and I just shoved that in there. Um, along with the cover, some elastic cord, some tags, a piece of card stock, some notebooks, um, that's what you're going to need. So if you haven't um, painted any feathers or made any plastic stained glass, you don't have to. Base what you put on your cover with what you have in your stash. Look around at those unique things you've been saving. Um, like a, a unique and or weird, honestly, like the driftwood, um, like the watch parts that you've been hoarding. Collect them, put a little group of things together. I'm going to show some clips um, in here right now of me doing exactly that. Um, where you see me um, gathering my pieces and parts. There's just a little short clip 
um, and trying to um, figure out what's going to work on the journal cover and what's not. And um, I'll be back in the next video and you'll see me actually attaching things to the cover and trying to figure out in my mind, I don't think that's actually, it's not actually on camera, but trying to figure out in my mind what's going to go in the journal and how exactly I'm going to use this, which is where that comes into play. So this is video number one. Get your cover materials together and get that covered and put together. Gather your decorations for the cover, whatever you think you might want to use. Um, you're going to need some glue. You're going to need, um, I actually, um, I used some wire here, so you might want to use wire. You're going to need some clips. You might need an inspirational word. I wanted to, I was thinking about putting another uh, something else here, but I just, for some reason, I like the smile. So anyway, we will be back in a couple of days, um, and I'll show you exactly how I put this together and show you some more clips of what my process was for doing that and how exactly I did that. Don't forget to check out the video description. If you're not part of my year 2017 and you'd like to be, which is what this video is created for, the link is in the description below. We are coming out with a new Facebook group for the new year. And at this time it is open to having people join the new group in preparation for starting in January. The link for that will also be in the description below, along with links to my Etsy shop, my tip jar if you'd like to support my free content here on YouTube and over at Facebook, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. I do sell some of the plastic stained glass and the painted feathers in my Etsy shop if you'd like to just buy, buy some and rather than make them. All right, that's it for today. The most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you in a couple of days for part two, and that's it for today. Bye, guys.